Guys, we've got a new MJX Hyper Go. And this one's more like a sort of on-road street edition. The last couple have been like monster trucks. Whereas this one is a, I tell you what, it's really heavy. That is really heavy. Oh yeah. Right, straight out of the box before we go any further, I can see a couple of issues. The first one is this body looks like it's, I don't know whether it's the molding process, it should be stuck out there, but look, it's pushed, pushed in and it's the same that side. That should be out like that. And the other issue is that's gonna hit the tire. Oh. So they also do like an infraction looking one. And I've seen some videos of this. As you can see, the arches on this, cause they're flared, they're okay. Whereas this one, yeah, so I need to have a look at that. That's not great out of the box. Anyway, from what I've seen, this thing's a beast for the money. Just need to try and sort that body out. Now this could go wrong, but I've just slot it over my radiator and switched it on. I have to keep an eye on it, but that's pushing these out now. So we'll just keep an eye on it. So there we go, bit of heat on there. You have to be really careful though. I wasn't careful, I wasn't really looking at the front. I melted a bit there, I've trimmed the front just to, to make it not look quite so bad. But yeah, be really careful. You should be able to do it with a hairdryer. Still gonna rub on the rear, I think. It's not quite lined up, but anyway, it looks like it's packing some really good stuff. So underneath we've got this little chassis guard. It's a good little addition if you're running this on grass or dirt, which it should do. Got nice grippy tires. This will come in handy. A couple of battery straps, that's not falling out, is it? 2000 milliamp hour lithium ion. That should power this in quite well. We will do a speed run, but I'm also gonna take a LiPo, because with a brushless system, a LiPo will give you maximum performance. Oh, hello. I didn't see all this in there. So this one comes with another battery. I'll leave a link in the description where you can get them. I don't know if they all come with two batteries or whether you can choose a two battery version. Also comes with a charger. Pretty good because it's a one and a half amp output. So it shouldn't take too long to charge this battery up. Normal Dean's connector, wheel wrench, screwdriver. Guess that's an ESC fan. It's already got a heat sink and fan on the motor. Now you get three sets of wheels. You get a rock hard drift set. Then you get more of like a dirt rally one. Compound feels a bit harder than what's on there. These ones look like they're more mixed terrain, sort of on and off road. I didn't realize it came with all that. You also get a set of instructions. There's your transmitter, is it four channel? I think it's a three channel. So you've got throttle trim and steering trim, and then you've got a 70 and 100% throttle there. And some stickers to put the lights on your body. And underneath, we have got a brushless motor there. I'll put on the screen the details because I'm not sure. Heat sink and fan, and we've got a brushless ESC and a separate receiver, so it's all separate electronics. So it's like we've got a little gyro there as well. That's gonna hopefully help with a bit of stability. Metal CVDs under there, oil-filled alloy shocks, adjustable toe. Under there, we've got a mini servo. I don't think it's full size. I don't know why that's on that box raising it up, but I don't know, maybe to stop it getting too much shock. And you've got a little battery tray here with dual straps. You've got a metal center shaft there that goes through some support. I can't see if there's a bearing or bushing in there. And then you've also got CVDs at the rear and and again, oil filled shock. Suspension feels nice and soft. You've got an alloy center brace there. The suspension does feel nice. Wow. You've got a nice diffuser at the back there. There's a front light splitter there. Sounds like it's got all metal gears in there. The diffs feel really nice. Yeah, really nice. So the front feels like it's a bit thicker than the rear. A bit thicker in the front's gonna try and keep it sort of going straight. So that feels like they've actually thought about that rather than rather than just putting random amounts in that front is thicker than the rear which like i said i think is how it should be now something slightly disappointing it is a metal chassis a nice flat metal chassis but crosshead hardware but not only that it just doesn't just doesn't look like it's been put in very well so slightly disappointed in that but the chassis itself and for, like i said for the money it looks like it's going to be Pretty good, right, we'll get the stickers on the body, we'll put a battery in, see what sort of wheel speed and steering we've got. We'll take it, see how fast it is, and then, well, take it for a rip around. And then I might put these plastic ones on, although although probably be better on carpet with that hard plastic. Right, battery's charged, there's loads of room in this battery tray, which is good news, because we're gonna speed run it on the stock battery. Then I got this little LiPo, and then we got this big chunky 3S, which fits in the battery tray. Come on, right. Full power, obviously. Steering feels pretty quick. Hang on a minute. 
Whoa! <laughs> Lights at the front. We've only got one light working. Oh, oh, loose connection. That might go out again in a minute. Oh no! No, we got turn signals. We don't like turn signals. Well, they don't come on straight. Well, they kind of do. What a lovely day for a speed run. Well, straight off the bat, I can tell you it's super smooth on the throttle. We are on 100% speed. Doesn't look as fast now. It looked like it had loads of wheel speed on the bench, but oh, straight as a die. I had to trim it up a tiny bit, but lovely. Here we go. Fast pass. I'm confident that I can keep it. Oh, look, not even a hand on the wheel here. Didn't even have to have a hand on the wheel. Stock battery, 44k. Is that in miles? 27 mile an hour out of the box. Not bad. That's gonna be 30 on a lipo. Lipo power. Definitely feels like a little bit more punch. But no hands, easy. Oh, it slides well. <laughs> this is too much fun. Oh, body. That's got her up in 30. Oh, 28. Let's stop lithium ions pretty good. We only got an extra mile an hour. What are your guesses with this 3S then? I reckon we're going to get 45. That 3S fits in there perfectly. Like Switch it on, make sure there's no fire. What are your guesses? Mine's 45 mile an hour. Oh my word. <laughs> Flat out solid again, solid. Oh my word. Holy mother of pearl. <laughs> Whoa, no, 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 no. Oh. Still going. We're still good. Whoa, there's a bump there. <laughs> so fast. I lost a body pin. Anyway. Oh, 42. I was close. I'm going to run it again. Try not to bin it this time. <laughs> Come a bit close this time. Might avoid that bump. Oh, it's a problem with 3S. <laughs> it just bins it harder. Brake, brake, brake. Well, at least we found a smooth bit of road. It's just so planted. Even on 3S, just rips straight. Oh, <laughs> not quite 45, 42 mile an hour. This thing's gonna rip on the dirt. Look what I just found. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yes, now we're talking. <laughs> Still running the stock tires. Is it worth switching to the other ones? I don't think so. Now this is the perfect terrain for it. <laughs> what a beast. So not only did we find a nice bit of waste ground to do a bit of rallying, I also found some smooth tarmac. <laughs> so very hard plastic wheels, very loud. Power sliding if you like, not drifting. I think I prefer rallying with it. <laughs> Definitely prefer rallying with it. I'm shocked. I am shocked. I didn't realise it was going to be that good. I was a little bit sceptical when I got it out of the box and the, the body wasn't quite right. It doesn't quite look. You know it's a Lancia Delta, but yeah, it's <laughs> slightly off. And obviously then 
with the rear wheels looking like they were gonna rub. But my word, what a beast. It's fast, it's controllable. Even on the dirt, it's controllable. You can drift it. I really like it. I think the infraction version probably looks a bit better. They've got an all black body coming out, I think. So I'm gonna try and get that. That's how it looks underneath from having this cover on. I didn't have all the pins in that, so I had to use some for the body, but keeps it relatively clean. Underneath, <laughs> proper scratched. MJX have done a really good job of that. Links in the description. I'll see you next time.